Okay, so here is the battery pack box. Now this is what it looks like. Of course, I've already unboxed it. It's a pretty cool little box and it basically tells you a little bit about uh, the brand and all of that type of thing, right? Um, so this is 20,800 uh, amp hours, right? Now on the back, I don't know how well you can actually see this. It's by Brio and uh, it basically tells you a little bit about the uh, the actual device right so it also has a input and output so as you're actually charging this with the uh, wall outlet it will let you know how much of the input is uh, coming in and if you're actually charging up a device it will tell you how much is actually going out okay so then it tells you different things that you can actually do it does have USB um, portals on it but it also allows you to um, plug in your device so you know like when you look at your cell phone if it's an Android it has that tiny little um, plug-in piece uh, at the bottom of your phone so this also has that as well okay so this is pretty much what it looks like so now this is the actual device okay so I'm going to lay it on top of my uh, computer. So this is the actual device. Let it focus, if it will. Okay. This is one of the cords that comes with it. It's just a very basic cord. What I use is basically have this uh, plugged into my cell phone. And it literally will charge it. Okay. If you look at the top, if it will focus in. Uh, this is where I was talking about as two USB ports. This is also a USB port like this one. And then this is where you can plug your cell phone device in as well. So if you didn't bring this and you have your uh, phone charger, you can plug it in here. Or you could charge three phones at the same time. So let's say, you know, my wife has a phone, I have a phone, and we have a tablet. I can charge the tablet off of this the other cell phone off of this and the other cell phone off of this okay it's pretty pretty nifty it can handle that load now on the side is a power button so when you turn it on the the LCD does actually light up right now I'm at 97 percent okay 97 percent now I also have a cell phone charger plugged into the wall and I'm going to take this and actually plug this into the uh, device right so as I plug it in let me make sure I get it turned right okay so the flat part goes up here you will see that it's starting to charge and I don't know how well you can see that but it basically says in okay so it's basically flashing saying in what that means is that that's how much input is coming in okay well not how much but it's basically pulling in so okay now with this if you notice I basically have this light shining and that basically acts as a light that you can use to shine around so let's say that you are at a campsite and you have no light this can actually serve that purpose it has a built-in light on it and you basically can turn it off by holding down on the power button then it goes away hold down on the power button it comes back on hold down on the power button it turns off okay so now I have to switch this cord out but when you plug that in <clears throat> I don't know if it's gonna focus here it now has two readings it says one in and one out that's whenever you actually have both input and output going at the same time it's charging my cell phone but it also is pulling charge from the wall okay so I have the that will focus this is a uh, Samsung uh, tablet here I don't know if it'll focus on me but the it's at 28 percent battery if you can see that then I have an Apple or yeah a tablet here and if you can see there it's at 96 percent 
me do that again. 96%, okay? So, this one battery pack is going to charge both of these, okay? This is obviously for an Apple, um, an iPad. So I'm going to plug this in, and if you notice, this is a USB port cord that goes with this. So I'm going to plug this in on the side. Okay. So I plug it in, and you can see it's saying 97% charged. Okay, just like that. Went from 96 to 97. And you can see here it's going to say in and out. We also have it plugged into the wall. This one here is empty. So what we're going to do is also plug it into this other tablet. If I can get it in there. Okay, you can see it says charging. 27%. So it's charging and this one is also charging at the same time. This still says 97%. Okay, so this device is basically going to tell you, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so it tells you in terms of what's going out, what is what. Now, if I unplug the iPad, okay, now you can see what is what. I plug that back in, that comes back on. If I unplug the Samsung, you can see that top line went away, okay? If I plug the Samsung back in, that comes back in. Battery pack, this one pack can charge both of these devices at the same time and also it can pull current from the wall. Now some people say, well then what's the point of that? If it's going to do that, what's, what's, I don't see what the big deal is, why that's such a critical thing, why can't you just plug both things into the wall? Um, I can unplug this, let me actually unplug it from there, and still, it's charging both devices, and it's still holding at 97%. Now, one of the questions will be, how long does it take to charge this battery pack? It takes quite some time to actually charge this all the way up to 100%. Um, even with a fast charger, it takes quite a bit of time for me to actually charge this up. Now, it says that the uh, battery life is about 6,000 hours. Normal charging time is 22 to 23 hours if you use the normal uh, charging connection. Now the normal charging connection is the thing that looks basically like this. Okay, if it's plugged into there it's going to take about uh, 23 to 24 hours. If you're using the fast charging uh, ability where you're basically using this, the USB, it's going to take 11 to 12 hours. Okay, so that is very true. Um, it literally takes, you know, and again, I use the fast charging um, and it doesn't take very long at all, actually. It, it's, it's rather quick. Um, so I typically will charge this up overnight um, and then just call it, call it a night. Uh, by the next morning, it's completely full. But as you can see, both devices are still plugged in. Um, it's at 27%, so it's taken a little bit, obviously, because you have two devices plugged in. This is at 97, uh, but this is still holding right here at 97% as well. So, anyhow, that's uh, my review of this Brio Lux. Uh, pretty cool device. It's really great to have, especially if you go camping and you need something that's going to uh, charge uh, your tablets, your phones, that type of thing. It's really, really good to have. The one thing it will not charge is that it will not charge a laptop. 
okay? So it will not charge that. One other thing is that if you have an external speaker like this, which also has an internal battery into it, uh, same thing. You can basically take this because th this also can be charged with a USB connection. So this battery pack can also be used to charge that as well. So if you notice, I plug that in and the light comes on. So it's basically charging this. So again, down here, you can see where it's charging that. So uh, again, that's pretty much the uh, the review that I have for uh, this battery pack. Uh, go out and get it. it retails not for a whole lot of money. Um, you can go on Amazon probably and also get it as well. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Until next time, I'll see you. Take care.